Last episode, Tashi and I built this really fast and flowy drop and brand new bridge. In this episode, I'll be turning this log into a skinny. Just look at this thing, it is absolutely begging for it. I think the easiest way to build this would be to get the Alaskan mill and chainsaw off the top of the log. But my only issue is this log is over two meters up in the air. So that's gonna make it harder to chainsaw. Nah, how am I gonna do this? Dad just had a ripper idea. He's got these A-frame scaffolding things that he thinks I'll be able to set up in the creek and run a board from the bank to the scaffolding, creating a platform for me to stand on. So I'm on my way to pick that up now. I just cleared a rough space down in the creek for this heavy bit of scaffolding, which now I have to like bush bash and drag through. Sturdy. Now to prepare the log. I'm gonna shave off a layer of bark with my draw knife just to make it nice and smooth for the Alaskan mill to slide along, making sure that it doesn't get caught up on anything. So I can make my first cut, I need to create a shallow groove in the log. The chainsaw is cutting through that like a knife through hot butter. I'm really pleased with the quick progress that it's making, but it's just started raining, which is not the safest time to be operating a chainsaw on a balancing beam. So I'm gonna give it a rest for a moment and start working on clearing the run out. It's the next day, the rain is gone, and I need to sharpen my chainsaw. This wood is so solid that I need to sharpen it every five minutes when milling. The tree that I'm working with today is a species of eucalypt. It's an Australian hardwood that is incredibly strong and rot resistant, which is perfect for trail building. But it is also twice as heavy as other trail building favorites like cedar. A cubic meter of this stuff weighs almost a ton. I finished the first pass with the Alaskan mill and it is looking awesome. Now, if you were a complete madman, you would be able to ride this thing already, but I'm actually gonna take another thin layer off, which I'll then use as cross slats, just to widen it a fraction. I mean, it is a pretty gnarly drop. Ooh, hold up, we got a t-shirt winner, Matt Spencer. If you wanna win a t-shirt, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment. With the top of the log sorted, it's time to build the ramp onto it. This ramp connects to the drop that Tash and I built in the previous episode and requires some angled boards to ride on. Oh, ouch. Time for the decking. Now that is satisfying. Time to build the off ramp. To finish off the project, I'm gonna need a little bit more wood. So I'm down here at my timber supply and I have to mill up some more. This used to be a massive tree and I've just slowly been slicing it away. I'm just trying to piece together this final turn and work out what's gonna work best because we don't want our rear wheel to cut the corner and fall off the edge. I think this is about right. I'm just gonna cut down this triangle piece and it can slot in there. All right, I'm pumped with that. That is looking beautiful. All the boards are in their final resting place. Now I just have to go through and screw them all down. I ran out of battery with just nine boards to go, which is devastating. So I need to go charge those up. While they're charging, I'm gonna pile up some dirt and rocks and work on the run out.
Using this long metal ruler, I can mark the perfect curve for the corner. Oh, wow. Wow, that is looking amazing. Look at this beast, it is finished. It's got a bit of bounce to it, but the log is really strong, so there ain't a worry there. It is high. If I fall down there, that's definitely a broken leg, so let's not do that. Now I just have to test ride this thing, so let's go get my bike. Hold up, before I hit this, I need to have a quick chat with my fans. As you know, this is just a small YouTube channel, but it takes an incredible amount of work. The last couple of episodes have taken almost 100 hours each to create, and I wanna bring you even more content. But to do that, I'm gonna to need to start making a little bit of money out of the channel. So I've been thinking of ways to not only add value to myself, but to you guys as well. And I've got some huge news that I'm excited to share with you. I've just built my own online shop where you can buy a variety of your own Cutlapse t-shirts. I'll make a small profit for every t-shirt that you guys buy, which will go a long way to supporting me and the channel. If you want to get your grubby hands on one, just visit cutlapse.com. I can't thank you legends enough for all of the love and support you've shown the channel. It's been amazing. Now it's time for me to pucker up and hit this skinny. Oh God, that's pretty tough. Oh my God. What I've realized is, is the first corner is the scariest part. If you get that correctly, the rest of the skinny flows. Nice. But if you don't get that correctly and you're off balance, well, it's a bit trickier as you go. Holy crap, skin is a scary. That was an awesome build. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. If you're new to the channel, watch this video next. It's awesome, you'll love it.